I'm with Marty Lipton, a partner at Wachtell, Lipton, Rosen and Katz at the Deal Economy 2016 event. Marty, thanks for joining us. Well, I'm delighted to be here, David. On your panel this morning, you talked about corporate governance. Traditionally, the board's role had been viewed as hiring a CEO and then letting that CEO run the company. Is, is that still uh, the, the contemporary view of corporate governance? Well, it's still the view that one of the most important functions of the board of directors is to hire the CEO and to be comfortable with a succession plan uh, in case that CEO can no longer serve. But I think it's fair to say that there are close to 20 other major things that uh, are now looked on as something that the board of directors should be paying close attention to. They range from uh, cybersecurity risk management to how to deal with activist hedge funds, how to engage with the major institutional investors, how to uh, look at the world economy, uh, how to be sure that the board uh, has all of the background information uh, that is necessary for the board to fulfill those functions. Each year um, in December, I send out a memo to our clients called Thoughts for Directors. This year it'll be Thoughts for Directors in 2016. And I think there are um, 18 uh, items uh, uh, that uh, um, boards, you know, looked upon today by institutional investors to be responsible for. So it's not just succession, it's pretty much every major aspect of the business, either in a monitoring role to be sure of compliance or in an advisory role to do uh, help management cope with the world economy. Uh, and all of the myriad regulations uh, that uh, companies have to deal with today. You recently worked on a paper for the Business Council of the World Economic Forum that sets out a new paradigm for corporate governance. Could you describe that paradigm for us? Yes, the paradigm is that, and perhaps I, I can best describe it as it used to be that uh, corporate governance was uh, really a, a question of how the board functioned. Uh, and over the last 30 years, it evolved into the shareholders gaining um, the upper hand, total control over the board. We moved from director-centric governance to shareholder-centric governance. And that obviously is a product of about 80% of the voting power of most of the major public companies being in the hands of institutional investors. So pretty easy for shareholder voting power to be concentrated with respect to any company. Now, at the same time that we evolved into this institutional control situation, we also evolved uh, a phenomenon that we call activist hedge funds, who today control about 200 billion of capital for them to invest in activist situations. And those activist hedge funds have essentially been the product of outsourcing by the institutions. In other words, uh, the institutional investors are not doing their own governance, uh, their own supervision of their portfolio companies. What they've done is outsourced it first to ISS and Glass-Lewis and second to these activist hedge funds. What, uh, what I said in the, in the paper you refer, referred to is that this has resulted in a focus on the short term and not the long term. And that's been going on during this entire period. Uh, and generally not uh, something that uh, gripped the attention of the institutions. 
suddenly more and more studies are being made to show that the result of this short-term pressure is to penalize long-term investment in companies and long-term increase in value, which has the result of penalizing the performance of the portfolios of the institutions. So uh, institutions are now beginning to recognize that they should bring governance in-house rather than uh, outsource it to advisors like ISS or to activist hedge funds. And it's my hope that this new paradigm of governance will lead to less pressure on companies for quarterly performance, less activist hedge fund attacks on companies, and an opportunity for companies to focus on the long term, long term investment, long term increase in the value of their securities. Marty, thanks for joining us. Well, it's been my pleasure to join you, David. It's always a pleasure. <laughs>